Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace, family. I'm just jumping on really quick, and I just want to reiterate truth according to his word. I'm just jumping on really quick, family, and I just want to reiterate truth according to his word. I just want to speak about faith, right? I just want to speak about faith. And I just want to show you through the word the testimony of our forefathers, the testimony of our ancestors, the testimony of the prophets, and how it all coexists with faith, right? I just want to show you through the word, family, how the testimony of our ancestors, the testimonies of our forefather, the testimony of our people coexists within faith. Grace and peace. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. So I will be reading um, the famous uh, book, the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. And I just want to read a few example how everything coexists within faith. It didn't mention nothing about the law. It said that these brothers were justified by faith, right? It went on to explain how Abel uh, sacrificed were better than his brother Cain because of faith. How Abraham walked by faith. How Sarah uh, believeth in the promise of the Father through faith. I just want to read a few examples and I pray that this message open up your eyes and show you through the word how it's all about faith, family. The promise that we're giving, it, it said that these brothers died in the promise of faith, it didn't mention nothing about no law. It did not mention anything about no law. You have to understand that when you worship the Father, you have to worship the Father in spirit and the truth. In faith, right? The, the, the Sabbath, the law, the, the, the tassels, the fringes, all that is done through faith. Through faith, we have a relationship with the Father through faith. Not through a Sabbath, not through a new moon. Not through fringes, not through tassel, not through a dietary law. But we have, we have a relation with the Father through faith. Because we understand that Christ is the end of the law to those who believe it unto righteousness. And if you want to be saved, if you want to be redeemed, you have to first believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. The word said you'll be saved. It's about faith. <laughs> it's all about faith. Miss Brown knows it's all about faith. Brother Edwards knows it's all about faith. Why do you not yet understand that it's all about faith? Getting mad at me because I don't mention nothing about a Sabbath, a Shabbat Shalom, right? Right? I obey the Father through faith because I understand through the word without faith, you can't please the Father. It's about faith. I'm going to say that over and over and over again in this message to get you to understand that it's about faith. Christ said, he that believeth in me, he that have faith in me, will receive eternal life. You shall not perish because you have faith in the blood of the Lamb, in Christ. Get mad at me because I don't mention nothing about a dietary law. I don't have relationship with the Father through a dietary law. Because I understand that the kingdom of God is not based on meat and drink. The gospel is not about meat and drink. It's about faith. It's all about faith. We have a relationship with the Father. I mean, a very intimate relationship with the Father through His Spirit and faith. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace, brother Israel. It's all about faith, family. Brothers got a relationship with the Father through a law that they can't even keep. Through a new moon. Through fringes and through some tassels and through a, 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 a Sabbath. Through feast days. True worship would worship the Father, Spirit, and Truth. And we have a relationship with the Father through faith. <laughs> because the Sabbath, the new moon, the law, all testified of Christ. Your feast days, your Passover, your first fruit, your day of atonement, all testified of Christ. So now I want you to just believe it in Christ. In faith. Um, I don't have much time, family. I'm going to read um, some of the examples from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. It's a very long chapter, so I'm not going to go in too in-depth with it. I'm just going to read a few examples how the faux father was, was deemed justified, not through no law, because it, 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 it never mentioned anything about no law, but because of their faithfulness and because of faith. And I just want to show you through the word that if you want to be redeemed, um, saved, delivered, you have to worship the Father in truth and in spirit and faith. 
by understanding that you are a son and a daughter of God through faith. I keep saying the word faith because that's what it's all about. It's all about faith. Faith, 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 faith. I'm going to say it over and over again to get that in your mind. Faith. The book of Hebrews chapter 11. The book of Hebrews chapter 11. I'm going to read a few examples, family, and I'm going to close out the message. I'm going to read a few examples, and then I'm going to close out the message. Please press the reshare button so others on your page can begin to believe in the gospel. And faith. The key word of this message today is faith. 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 Faith in the Lamb of God, who is Jesus Christ, who died for our sin and resurrected. And by his stripes, we've been healed through faith. And it reads, hallelujah. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11. I'm just going to read a few examples, family, and uh, I'm going to close out the message. And if you'd like to know more, just pick up your Bible and read. Study to show thyself approved, right? I have to. Guess what? You do too. Grace and peace, grace and peace, grace and peace. Grace and peace, my beloved brother. Grace and peace, Miss Williams. And it reads. If they by faith Abel offer unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. All right. I was going on social media a couple of weeks ago and, and I seen a post that a brother asked, why was Abel sacrifice deemed better than his brother Cain? But if you read, it tells you Abel sacrificed his offering to the father through faith. That's why it was deemed better. Than his brother Cain. It said it right there in the word. In faith. Right? It said by faith. Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. How was he righteous? Through faith. <laughs> God testified of a gift and by it the being did yet speak it. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had the testimony that he pleased the Most High. How did he please the Most High? By faith. The father translated Enoch before the flood was coming the father took him away. So he made a transition <clears throat> through faith. A lot of people tend to believe that, that, that Enoch never died. No, nah, that ain't what this means. All of, all of humanity had to die. All of them. Matter of fact, if you read on down, he said all of these had died in the faith. So when, when the father took Enoch, translated, transitioned him over because he was going to bring a flood. He was going to bring a flood. How, how does Enoch Get the get get the skip death, but Jesus Christ, who never committed a sin, but was made sin, had to die. Hmm? He not died as well. That's another false doctrine that I'm not even going to try to address. But when it said that he was translate translated, he was he made his transition. He made a transition. The father put him in a grave so that he won't feel the wrath of the flood that was coming because he was righteous through faith. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had the testimony that he pleased the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please the Father. Without faith, it's impossible to please the Father. We know that the word teach that the law is not of faith. So if you're trying to hold on to the law for the sake of justification, it's impossible for you to please the Father. It is impossible. Without faith, you can't please the Father. That's why you have to worship the Father in spirit and truth and faith, grace and peace. It's all about faith, family, because without faith, you can't please the Father. I can't please the Father. We cannot please the Father if, if our relationship with the Father is not predicated on faith. You all keep it on understand that, right? But I pray that you get the revelation that we have to have relationship with Christ through faith. Not through the law, not through a Shabbat Shalom, not through some tassel. Do you, do you, can you make me a, a pair of tassel for justification and I need a blue ribbon on it because the word said throughout, throughout thy generation? 
It did say throughout thy generation. But it also said that we have broke that covenant. So if that covenant had been broken, though throughout thy generation stipulation is no longer applicable. If the words that we have broke that everlasting covenant, though throughout your generation that you read in the old covenant is no longer applicable. Remember when you were with your ex-wife and you said, baby, I would love you forever. I will forever wash your back. I will forever cook and clean for you. I will forever walk the dog. I will forever take you out on a date on Friday. But guess what? If you broke up with your ex-wife, those forever is no longer applicable. Why? Because she had moved on with her husband and you had moved on with your wife. You cannot go back to your ex-wife and try to give her those back rubs. You will get clumped across your head by your wife and by her new husband. Because those forever is no longer applicable. It was only applicable in the old covenant. It also said that you should go to Jerusalem three times a year throughout your generation. I don't see none of you running to Jerusalem. Right? We cannot pick and choose. We cannot cherry pick scriptures. We can't. The word said that if you want to be under the law, you are adept to keep the entire law. And even if you attempt to keep the entire law, you're still not justified by it because the law is not of faith. Right? But without faith, it is impossible to please the creator. For he that cometh unto God must believe it that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that digitally seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of the things not seen as of yet, moved with fear, he prepared an ark, an ark for the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and became heirs of righteousness, which is by faith. It's all about faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. It did not say that Noah was redeemed righteous through the law. It said that Noah was redeemed righteous through faith. And when he heard that the, that the water was coming, that the flood was coming, he prepared an ark. For him and his family to be saved from damnation. And he became heirs of righteousness, which is by faith. Not by no law, but by faith. These are the testimony of our forefathers, of the prophets of old. That they were deemed righteous, not because of some law, but because they obeyed the father by faith. Eight. It say by faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for inheritance, he obeyed, and he went out not knowing where he would go. Nine. By faith again. It say by faith, not by no law, not by no statute, not by no commandment, not by no Torah, not by no old covenant. Say by faith. If Abraham, Noah, Enoch was preaching, they will stand before you like we are preaching the gospel of faith. Why are you trying to teach some law that is not of faith? It's a by faith Abraham sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacle with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundation, who builder and the maker is God. Through faith, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and would deliver of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Faith, 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 faith. You have to obey the father through faith. Because without faith, you can't please the Father. Your Shabbat Shalom is not pleasing to the Father. Your Torah keeping is not pleasing to the Father. Your feast days is not pleasing to the Father because it was all pointing to Christ. Your little tassels with the pink ribbon on it is not pleasing to the Father. Your little dietary law is not pleasing to the Father. 
You have to obey the Father through faith, like Abraham, like Sarah, like Noah, like Enoch. They were deemed righteous, not because of some law, but because of faith. I'm trying to show you something. Right? 12. Therefore sprang there even of one as him as good as dead. So many as the stars of the sky and multitude and as the sand which is by the seashore. All of these had died in the faith. All of who? Sarah died in the faith. Noah died in the faith. Abraham died in the faith. And even some that may not believe. Noah. I mean not Noah. Enoch. Enoch. Some of you read verse 3 or verse 5 and say Enoch, Enoch never died. But we just read that all of these had died in the faith, including Enoch. Oh, you thought Enoch could skip death? When the father said that from dust you are to dust you shall return? Is not Enoch what made of dust? Well, guess what? If Christ had to die, Enoch had to hit the grave as well. But that's a whole nother false doctrine that some proclaim and preach that Enoch never died. He was translated. He never seen death. He saw death. What he did not see was that flood that was coming to, to wipe out the world. But he saw death. He made a transition. The father put him to sleep so that he won't see the wrath that was to come. <clears throat> Let me see. Let me see if I can read a few more. It's that all of these died in the faith, not having received the promise. The promise of what? Eternal life. The Holy Spirit. The gift of eternal life. But having seen them far off and were persuaded of them. And embrace them and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. You receive the gift of eternal life. You receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. You have been baptized by the Holy Spirit. They did not yet receive the promise. They just believed it and they embraced the promise. But you have received the promise because you out you is after the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. They only prophesied about Christ. They only prophesied about the Holy Spirit. But you after the cross, you after the resurrection, you have received the promise of the Holy Spirit. That's why we preaching and teaching the word in spirit and in truth, in faith. Let me see if I can read a few more, fam. I don't want to uh, keep you too long. I'm just showing you that it's all about faith, right? I do want to read a few more. 20. It's a by faith. Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning the days to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, he blessed both of the sons of Joseph and worship, leaning upon the top of his staff. 22. By faith, Joseph, when he died, he made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, were hid three months of his parents because they saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king commandment. Everything is about faith. How are you not seeing it, family? That, that, is, that is not about faith. It's about faith. It's all about faith. You can only receive the promise of eternal life through faith. Through faith in Christ. Through faith in the promise. That in, that in Abraham, all the family of the earth will be blessed through Christ. Faith. But you around here talking about some Torah, some law. When you should be teaching the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ, you should, go out, you should be going out and healing folks through the blood of the Lamb. Folks dying. Folks is hungry. Folks is thirsty for righteousness. And you have the gospel on your mind. You have the gospel on your tongue. You have the gospel in your heart. But yet you want to profess some law that you yourself are not keeping. You want to talk about Esau. Can women wear pants or not? Whether the earth is flat around about some dietary law. Go check the back of the ingredients that, 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 that you cook in the night. And see how much pork and shellfish is in it. Go check your, tube, your toothpaste and see how much pig and pork is in it. Go check the ingredients and see how much pork and uncleanness is in it. You ain't keeping no dietary law. You better eat of his flesh and drink of his blood. He said, don't labor for that bread that is perishing. Eat of me. Drink of me. I am the true bread. He said, Moses did not give you the true manna, 
But my father giving you, giving you to me now, eat of me. I'm the real dietary law that will give you eternal life. Drink of me. You drink of this water, you will never thirst again. That lady said, I'm tired of coming to this well. What a water that you speak of? Right? By faith, Moses, when he was when he was come to years, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Right? Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasure in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsake Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured and sent him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest, that, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea on dry land, which the Egyptian uh, was to drown. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down, after they, was, after they uh, were commanded to uh, after they come past about seven days. By faith the harlot Rahab perished, not with them that believed not, when she had received the spies with peace. It's all about faith, family. I could go on and on and on and on and on. You have to get the message. You have to get the understanding. You have to receive the revelation. That all the names that were mentioned, Rahab, Moses, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Sarah, Joseph, Isaac, Jacob, they all worship the Father through faith. They believe. See, that's too simple for some of you. You want to complicate it. You want it more complex. You just cannot believe that all I have to do is just believe in Christ. It got to be more to it. It just got to be more to it. I need to build the walls of Jericho all over again. I need to try to climb my way up to the moon, to the sun's. I need to learn Hebrew. You feel that it got to be more to it than just believe. I got to learn Torah. But it's simple. Just walk by faith in Christ. Christ said, it is finished. I did it for you. I fulfilled the law and the prophet. And now I'm the end of the law. To those who believe it unto righteousness. Salvation is a gift that is free. You can only receive the gift by believing in him. It's not complicated. You don't have to put on tassels every single day. Because now you should receive the Holy Spirit. You don't have to keep a feast over, Passover. Because it was all pointing to Christ. You don't have to learn Hebrew. You still trying to figure out English. Why you want to put that burden upon you? Don't worry about how old the letter J is. <laughs> Don't worry about the curses because he said, I came to set the captive free and he became a curse for us. You don't have to read Deuteronomy 28. Just enjoy the liberty that Christ has set you free in. <laughs> Don't worry about a dietary law. <laughs> Eat the word. Because he said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from my mouth. And he said, this is my commandment that you love it to one another as I had loved it you. And there is no greater commandment than this, that one should lay down his life for his brother, for his sisters. He said, not that which goes into a man's mouth defiles a man. That stuff goes into your stomach, into the sewer. He said, what defiles a man is your unbelief. You'll be saved by faith and you'll be condemned by unbelief. Choose life and live continue to choose death and die. Um, that's about it, family. If you want to continue to read the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, it's a very powerful book, chapter. I highly admonish each and every one of you on the side of my voice to go ahead and uh, re-examine um, Hebrews, chapter 11, just to really meditate on it, how these brothers were deemed righteous by faith. Don't allow no one to tell you anything different. You're not righteous because you say Shabbat Shalom. You're not righteous because you got on task. You're not righteous because you wore fringes. All of our prophets... Or all of our forefathers in the days of old had on tassels, fringes, kept a new moon, Shabbat Shalom, and still was under the curse of the law. All of them. All of them. 
They all had on tassels and fringes, but yet only two of them made it to the promised land, and that was Joshua and Caleb. So those little tassels and fringes could not save them, right? They couldn't save them. That's why you need the anointing of the Holy Spirit, because it is the Spirit that gives life. Your flesh and your little tassels profit you nothing. The word that he spoke unto us, it was Spirit filling their life. Now you need to worship the Father in faith. Shalom.